There you go. Peso will help you, mateys. My claw hurts. When he hurts, I hurt. That claw needs a bandage right away. Good as new. Wow, I feel better already. When he feels better, I feel better. Could you put us back together now? Oh, there you go. Thanks! Merry Christmas! Hey, guys! Over here! Captain, it's the Golden Coral! Hello, old friend. Oh, my. Are you all right? Inkling? Well, it looks like I'll be spending Christmas upside down this year. Hello, I'm Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. We'll get you out and the right way up in no time. Dashy, we're going to need the Gup Sea. Right away, Captain. On my signal. One, two, three. Easy there. <gasps> That was a close one. And now one more push to turn her the right way up. That's better. Thanks for getting me out in one piece. And not just me, but these baby sea snails. They rely on me for protection. Thank you, and, and Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas to you too. You haven't seen my nephew squirt anywhere, have you? Oh dear, I'm afraid I haven't. Don't worry, Professor. We won't give up until we find him. Aye, but how? Look, ink. Where there's ink, there's an octopus. Yes, Captain, we octopus shoot ink when we're scared. Squirt must be trapped in there. Squirt! Squirt! Captain, I volunteer to swim inside and search. It's too dangerous, Quasi. These rocks could move and fall on you. Then I'll take the gut bee. The gut bee's not strong enough. None of our gups are. They could all be crushed by falling rocks. Hmm. Cap, I think now's the time for me to give you your Christmas present. A Christmas present? Now? Hi, Hi Peso. Peso! Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your sea-going feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry. I know the type. <laughs> in the box. Presents for everyone. <laughs> a rock! A rock. That's right. A deli penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up everyone and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip and I'm Flap. Oh, but here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the loose and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks, and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind my back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge! Phew. 
<sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco, where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. Mum, flap! He's flip! Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip! Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips. You're right. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy! Phew. Sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys, and I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. <laughs> hey, bitch! Could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course! Come on, fellas! Bubble net! some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp, like this. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Ah. <coughs> uh. It worked! Mickey! Sorry I gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but, uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of, uh... Crashing into things? <laughs> yes, I know. Yo, oh. Well, Captain, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. And look... It's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts, let's do this. Chronicles <laughs> to Gup I, the Emperor Penguin mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers, we're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashie, take the Gup S under now. Captain, Emperor penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashie. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does oh. it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. 
She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? I, I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest, past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Oh, oh. 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 I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. <laughs> What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Octonauts, abandon the gut S now. A dull moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your station. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know, but I wish I didn't. She's none other than the Dry Toothed Terror. The Who Toothed Water? The Tri-Toothed Terror, a giant sea monster with three huge, sharp teeth. He sneaks up on pirate ships, fights them with his enormous teeth, <coughs> then disappears into thin air. You think the Tri-Toothed Terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the Tri-Toothed Terror. Well, if it isn't the Tri-Toothed Terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask ye? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> it's a blue whale. Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me eye patch, Crooked. <laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? It's down by my tail. <laughs> ah. We've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried to terror must be nearby, but where? Oh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. Wild ride. I wish I knew who was tickling me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, nope, too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. <gasps> Wait a minute. There. That's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. But why did the wee sharks attack the octocam cables? Because they get confused and mistake soft material like rubber for blubber. Rubber for blubber. 
We've got to ask them to stop biting our equipment. But first, we need to catch these rubber blubber lovers, and I have an idea. Barnacles to Tweak, we're going to need your help. Antarctica straight ahead, Captain. Everyone, prepare for ice landing in three, two, one. Everyone ready to get started? I am, Captain. I can't wait to see what creatures live up here on the ice. Quasi, you and Peso will help Shellington watch the ice for creatures. <sighs> You'd have to have coconuts for brains to live here in Antarctica. Can anyone see any creatures out there? Not yet. It's all just white, white, white... And red! Shiver me whiskers! There's something red straight ahead! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! It looks like a waterfall made out of ice. But why is the ice red? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Fire up the Ice Spy. The Ice Spy will show us what's under the ice. A vast! There's a lake down there. That must be where the red ice is coming from. The ice is very thick. Oh, the lake must have been sealed under it for millions of years. Who knows what creatures might live down there? Let's take a look. Peso, detach Octo Sled and activate Ice Drill. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. Captain, the ice is too thick. The drill can't take it. We're not giving up yet. Send more heat to the drill. OK, Captain. Almost there. Captain, the drill is broken. Aye, but we reached the lake. The drill will have to wait. Shellington, are you ready to head outside and... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the spirit, matey. Hurry, I can't wait to see what's down there. Oh! Take it slowly, Shellington. One careless move out here and we could be in trouble. Yeah! Oh, secret lake, here I come! Amazing. No one has ever seen this place before. Have you any idea why the water's red, Shellington? Hmm. The water contains tiny bits of rusty iron. That's why it's so red. There's rust in the water. Careful! It would be easy to get lost down here. Octonauts, stay close. Ah, the water is also very salty. And cold! And dark! Ah, I don't think any creatures could survive down here. Sorry, Shellington. We'd better get back to the Gup S. Shellington! Come in, Shellington! Uh, you won't believe this, but I've crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, and I can't follow the Hammerhead Park. I need backup. We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, he was following three Hammerhead Shark pups. We have to help him. Captain, it looks like he was heading toward the open ocean. That's a dangerous place for hammerhead pups. In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Shellington, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain, but the hammerhead pups are gone. We need to split up to find them and then follow them. Yeah, follow a little baby hammerhead. This'll be easy. Just don't follow too closely, Quasi. They're still very young and the gups may confuse them. Got it. Shellington, you're with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Still no sign of any hammerheads. Wait! Shellington, I think I see one of them. Great! Now don't let him out of your sight. That too will be hard. He's just nosing along the seabed like he's looking for something. I can't see you, Stingray, but I can smell you under there. Oh, yeah? Smell this! Ah. Oh, no! The hammerhead just got stung by a stingray! Don't worry, Peso. Hammerheads don't mind a stingray sting or two. Ha-ha! <laughs> that won't stop me! 
No! How's about them? Go get them, boys! Uh oh! Hey! Yeah. 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 Oh dear, I've got to help him! Oh. 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 Hello! Don't be afraid. I'm a medic, and I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. Whoa! One down, a lot more to go! Sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got your leg, but I want you. Actually, it looks like I've got you. I got the octopus. I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, take a shark. <laughs> Octonauts, we're going to use these seaweed ropes to lift off the ice chunk. When I give the command, we're all going to pull together. Pinto, we could use your help. Really? We need somebody to pilot the Gub B. Aye, aye, Captain! Ready? Pull! Come on. You can do it, Pinto. You did it. Thanks, Captain. Yes. Thanks for rescuing us, Octonauts. Let's get back to the race. Let the Iron Clan continue! You shouldn't be swimming, Hugo. You're injured. No pain, no gain. I'm a winner, not a quitter. Why are you swimming with me? Why don't you go on ahead and grab the clam? That's what I would do. Because there are more important things than winning. Like what? Like making sure you're all right. I don't understand you at all. Yeah! Ah. Go on, Peso. What are you waiting for? I can't leave you here. And I know how much winning means to you. So... Hey! What are you doing? This is incredible! Peso is carrying Hugo... Across the finish line! For the first time in the history of the Iron Clam, we have a tie! I must admit, folks, I don't know what to do. Who gets the clam? Definitely give it to Peso. He deserves it. Oh, that's all right. Hugo wants to win more than I do. Allow me. There. A big cheer for the winners! I'm so proud of you, Peso. You won the contest and you saved Hugo. My son, the hero. <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! 
What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What goes up? <laughs> um, oh. Must calm down. <laughs> ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh, I spread me pectoral fins like this so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. <sighs> okay. I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin. Fully adjustable. Now, Cap, all we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail fin. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the gups, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. Oh, mateys. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them go. Amazing. Ooh, flying fish. 
I see it! Using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been. Mm. Oh. Hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam, it's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, quasi, to the gup A. Open the octa hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Um, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move on. Well, 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 uh, 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 well, 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 well. <laughs> Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses! Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash! We all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. <gasps> oh, that's no rock. It's the monster of Creepy Cove. And it has the captain's octo compass. <gasps> Quasi, Peso, what happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your octo compass. Deshi to Captain Barnacles. The octo compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashy. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octo compass. The m, m monster. Give me whiskers. Another monster. That's given. <laughs> what? The real one. Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? 
Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Mm. Whoa! See? I look just like a rock. Oh. Or I can make myself look bigger. Amazing. Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away. That's incredible. Hi, matey. We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes, that's my octocompass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. And it also turns into a camera. May I take your picture? Well, okay. How about a group shot? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Say cheese. As you can see, the monster of Creepy Cove was just a cuttlefish. <laughs> Tunip, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here I go. Nothing to it. Huh? Uh, well, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. Oh, yum! Oh. It's working. Mmm, oh, nice and crunchy. We torpedo rays always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room... A bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. And they do seem to like the Vegemal's fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Tunip. Come on, guys. Dinner is served. Nice and crunchy. And these fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. Nice and crunchy. It's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, wow. Almost there. Just a few more zaps. I knew we could do it. Oh, hey, watch it, man. That watch it, Mike. Do something. Watch it, will ya? Yeah. Hey, get out of my way, man. Hey, easy, guys. Get out of it. The octopod's going to fall over the edge. Hey, watch out, Mike. Torpedo rays, look out. Oh. Sorry. I've got to get to the controls. <laughs> Looks like you could use a lift. <gasps> Sandy! Nice to see you again, Sandy. Hop on. Aim for the octo hatch. Got it. To jump for it. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Yeah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no! Dashie, what's going on down there? One of the snakes.
need to reverse the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use, we're getting sucked in! We're caught in the whirlpool! We'll have to drive our way out of it! My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly. Kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too! There she is! Captain, the ship can't take much more of this! Quasi, Peso! You have to hurry! We have to get out of this whirlpool! Aye, Captain! We've almost got her! Yeah, little snakey snakey snake! Oh no! Brave move, matey! I... I can't believe I just did that! Great work! Now hurry back inside! They're inside, Captain! Now's our chance! We've got to blast out! Okay, Dashy, I'll pull the brakes. Then you'll activate the turbo blasters. Ready? Brakes! Now, blasters! Blasters, go! Open up and say, ah. Ah. Very good. Say, ah. Ah. Good. Say, ah. Ah. No, not ah. Just ah. Ah. Mmm, parrotfish. Just in time for lunch. Ooh. I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't have eaten you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help her. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> Looks like a big metal fish! Never tried one of those! Captain Barnacles, come in! What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark! <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum! <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch now! You got it, Cap! That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Yeah, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush! It worked! The shark is out! But look! <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ.
Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat. And he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Oh, it's too strong for the egg max. We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Hold this. Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Look. Now I've got you. Yeah. Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. Ha Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah! Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. <laughs> with the one and only Jimmy Junior! <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. I, I had him in my paw. He, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. That's a clam. That's an egg. That's an egg! Junip, you found Jimmy Junior! Who's <laughs> Found all ten. Great job, Octo. Shellington, what did he say? He said, My eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah! You're a little daredevil, aren't you? That's Jimmy Jr. A chip off the old block. Wow, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. What is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A banded soul. You're lucky I spotted it, matey. Banded souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a banded soul? Yeah! <laughs> Professor Inkling? <laughs> he is indeed my friend. But I am no bandit so <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... I, I mean, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent! Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish! <laughs> oh, oh! It's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. 
Hiss! 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 Meh. Bravo, Mortimer. We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one, Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two, Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonauts and Mortimer, let's do this. <laughs> Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Arrgh! Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you were asking for it. Yeah! Okay, so time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. Magnets and hit the meteor at the exact same time. Quasi, Peso, take your positions. It's coming in fast, mateys! Get ready! Ooh. Steady! Steady! Dashi, I'm attached to the meteor, but I can't stop it. Prepare to evacuate the octopod. Attention, octonauts. Report to the launch bay. We need to leave the octopod immediately. Huh? Where's all this sand coming from? So you're what's been taking chunks out of our engine. Whoops! <laughs> I'm sorry. There are just so many interesting things to munch around here. Well, you better clear out. A big rock from outer space is about to hit the octopod. A rock from outer space? That sounds delicious. Hold on. If you can chomp through this engine, I reckon you can chomp through that meteor. Chomping rocks is my speciality. And I've never tasted one from outer space before. Um, do you have any friends around here? Second time lucky, Captain. Ready, Peso? I can do this. I can do this. Well done, you two. But it's still not enough. Don't worry, Cap. Help is on the way. Patty! All right, boys. Who's hungry? <laughs> it's working, but we've got to give the parrotfish more time. Pull back on your reverse thrusters. Give it everything you've got. <laughs> Look! Here they come! They're moving fast. Captain, time until impact is five. I'm losing contact with the meteor. Four. Three. Two. One. The engines are working again, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Well, Cap, we could use the Octopod's bubble engine to push him back down. Good plan, Tweak. Hurry! Got it, Cap! Hold on, everyone! Hi, Captain! You don't really have a choice! 
tulip. While I put the bubble engine in reverse, you need to move the octopod so it's right over the trench. Just that. That button. Oh. Dizzy, but I'm okay. We'll be fine once everything stops spinning. <sighs> well, that was a close one, see? Oh, my tentacles are all in a twist. Sorry we tried to eat you at first. Uh, you've done so much for us. I wish there was something we could do for you. Well, there is something you could do. True. Fantastic sight. Oh, wow. Yes. Look, at, look at the siphonophore. You said it right. Ha. Okay, everybody. Lights, hooks, stingers. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Much better. Well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Oh, oh hold on, everybody. And don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. Oh, but Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh no. If you get washed away. I'm scared. Oh no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Easy now. And down. Oh, 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 the dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Dashy, can you give me the exact direction the hurricane will hit from? Sending it to you right now, Captain. Octonauts, we'll line up the gups A, B, D and E and form a wall to stop the hurricane from hitting the reef too hard. And I'll use the gup C to try and keep the dome steady. Stay close together, everyone. Hurricane force current will hit in five, four, three, two, one. Brace yourselves. 